Police in one downriver community are investigating tonight after a slew of anti-Semitic flyers were left on porches. This happened on two different blocks in Southgate, and it has residents asking a whole lot of questions. Rod Maloney is live in Southgate for us tonight. Rod, you got your hand on one of those flyers. Yeah, here's what it looked like. It was a plastic bag, and there was corn at the bottom of the plastic bag to hold it down so it wouldn't blow away. There's a number of flyers inside of here, much of which we cannot show you on television. But needless to say, the residents here are quite offended by what it was that wound up on their lawn. Overnight, Saturday night, Sunday morning, someone tossed these anti-Semitic packets onto front lawns only on the west side of Windermere Street. The writing so toxic, residents like Pat Dalton couldn't believe their eyes. I was just flabbergasted. It was just so disgusting. Who would do something like that? Debbie Higgins lives across the street and heard her neighbors talking about them. It was something graphic about the Jews. And they said it was so bad, so hideous, that they couldn't, when they started to read, they couldn't read it anymore. They just tore it up. We're seeing anti-Semitic incidents clearly on the rise across Metro Detroit. Do you support the state, uh, state of Israel? Last December, a man shouted anti-Semitic threats at parents, bringing their children to Temple Bethel's Bloomfield Hills School. The temple's rabbi, Mark Miller, spoke with us about this rising public problem today. In the dead of night, they're putting out this truly shameful literature that nobody should see, nobody should have to think about. And it, it's obviously bad for the Jewish community, but it's bad for all of us. On this Southgate Street, they're calling it a personal insult to them that any author thought these cornfield ravings could have influence here. So silly, so stupid that they would think that. I don't know. It's, uh, we're living in a different world now. It angered me. Anybody that could put things out like that, um, I think is really, ha they have a problem. They have a problem with themselves and they have a problem with what's going on in the world today. And we don't need hate. Now, most of these were thrown away. Uh, the police department picked up a handful of them, but we were able to find one just down at the end of the street. It was still sitting there four days after it was delivered. Back to you. Rhonda, what are Southgate's police saying about this incident? Well, we did talk to them today. They said that they didn't want to talk about it on camera because they didn't want to lend any credibility to this person. But they also said that there's nothing in here that was a direct threat to anyone. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, there was nothing to arrest anybody over. But clearly, they want to know who did this. And they're keeping their eyes open for perhaps future yeah. threats or problems. Yeah, I'm sure neighbors want to know who did this, too. All right, Rod, we appreciate your report this evening.